Hey guys, remember Gregor on Nas? I had a go for our own adventure. All right, we're in the solar greenhouse. It's February 22nd, and we're getting ready for the new season. The uh, we've got the fertilizer in. What we do is we collect seaweed, and uh, we put it in here. And look, guess what else is in here? The raptors. And what they're doing is they're uh, they're uh, shredding that compost to bits. Um, and what they're doing is my compost pile, they've gone through and they've done a beautiful job of rototilling it. So let's take a look at this little guy. Look at this. Compost pile. Beautiful. Look at that. So that's all ready to be spread into the garden. And within the next few weeks, we're going to be planting. So the solar greenhouse is a really cool thing. And solar here in Haida Gwaii really does work. Now, I've gone through and I've put uh, solar on my house and we've put a wood stove in to cut back on the heat. I put the, the wind turbine in on the solar power shed. There's also solar panels up in the roof. And does it pay? Does it work? Okay. Well, let's go take a look at what is happening uh, with my uh, utility bill. And here in BC, Canada, we can go online and we have smart meters. I know everybody's going to hate those, but it, what it does is it gives you some valuable information as to what you're consuming. And uh, the results are uh, pretty striking. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, guys. So what we're looking at now is my monthly consumption from March 2014 to February 2017. Now, as we look at the first part of the graph here, this is the first month we moved in. We we're up to 1,783 kilowatts per month. And as the summer came in, electricity went down. And then when we got into fall, it went back up, you know, up to 1,852 kilowatts. Then it went, as spring arrived, we went back down. Fall goes back up. Okay, for two years. That's what our power bill did. It went up and down and up and down depending on the season. So once we've put the wood stove in and switched to solar, our power bill stayed around four to five hundred kilowatts per month. Uh, because we use it to heat hot water and we use it for our stove for cooking. So that is a very consistent and dramatic change from the electricity that we've used. Now, what have our neighbors done? Well, on the this uh, online uh, chart, it uh, also gives us to show you what similar homes do. Now, this is what my neighbors are paying and what they're using. It's going to take a sec. Okay, so the neighbors are the dark blue and we're the light blue. As you can see, we're generally always consistently below what our neighbors use because we've always had a little bit of solar and we use our solar ovens and stuff like that. But once we sway the switch, okay, look what happens. They're still paying the big bucks in the fall and winter, spring, but our bill is always the same. Pretty much the same within very, very few kilowatts because our bathing, uh, uh, Ritual is pretty consistent. We're cooking, we're cooking ritual is pretty consistent. So those stay the same, but our variable power consumption goes down. The benefits of having solar. All right, guys. So you see what a small system can do to your power bills. A 1.4 kilowatt system can significantly significantly reduce your energy consumption that you would normally pay to the utility company. The reason I haven't gone with a whole house system here on Haida Gwaii is our winters um, are pretty nasty. I'm 53 degrees north, which means in the winter time I get about an hour a day of usable sunlight, which is pretty not much. Okay, You need a good seven, eight hours a minimum. Uh, for a solar system to uh, start paying off. I needed something that was going to act as emergency backup and it has fulfilled that immensely. 
Uh, we have had numerous power outs all winter and sometimes it can take 18, 24, or 48 hours for the hydro company to get over here and get it fixed. Um, we had neighbors over the other day, they said we had a power out last week uh, that lasted 18 hours, we didn't even notice it. Um, but for me to try and put in a whole house system um, would never pay for itself here because there just isn't enough sunlight. But from spring, summer, and fall, this little system basically powers everything in my house except for my stove and my hot water tank and that you've seen what the uh, results from the graph um, what that's saved me in cost. I've reduced my energy, electrical energy consumption by more than 67 percent so that is huge. So even a small system even in Haida Gwaii uh, if you've got the sunlight you can uh, save some money with solar. All right, guys. Norman Craig on the side of the way for all adventure. Take care.